everyone, I'm Ian Norman from Lonely Spec, and today I wanted to make a quick video about how I pack for travel. We're gonna be uh, in England, Ireland, and Iceland over the next, uh, I think, three to four weeks. Um, and all I packed is this little backpack right behind me. Just a simple backpack with like a single uh, central packing area and it has uh, like a, a side zipper here for a laptop with a pouch for a laptop. So uh, I, I just wanted to kind of go through the items that are in that bag and uh, talk about them and why I brought them. And it'll give you a good idea of what I'm able to fit into a relatively small bag. All right, so first things first, uh, like I said, this is a uh, like a laptop backpack. So I have uh, inside the laptop sleeve uh, my laptop, which is a 15 inch MacBook Pro um, with a retina display. I've had this computer since uh, they first came out with a retina display, so it's like five years old, um, but it still works like a champ. I haven't really found a reason to get rid of it and it can handle all of my you know, Photoshop and Lightroom and After Effects and uh, Final Cut Pro uh, work. So haven't really needed anything else other than this for the last five years. Um, so first and most important item. And uh, then if we go into, so on, on this bag I've got this uh, sort of top flap here and inside the top flap is this is where I keep my toiletries. Um, so, plastic bag with you know uh, medication and uh, toothbrush, toothpaste, some moisturizer, and uh, so beyond that we've got the main pouch. Um, like I said, this bag has uh, it's it's basically just like one um, big pouch. It doesn't have uh, any other, you know, really big compartments other than, the, than than this large one, and that's basically where I keep everything. So I'm just going to go ahead and go through uh, each of the items that I've packed. Um, I've got a little notebook and a pencil. Um, this is just where I can keep some notes and uh, make some illustrations and stuff. And uh, I also have. Uh, this is my filter holder. This one's kind of randomly thrown in there. Um, I couldn't fit it in my other little sections uh, of organization. So um, I've got the Format High Tech uh, 85 millimeter holder. This is the system that, that I use for all of my cameras. And uh, this particular one, I, or this time I've, I've brought just the, uh, the Sharp Star. This is my focusing tool. and. Uh, the pure night filter. This is my light pollution filter. Um, so all night photography related stuff that I brought with me on this trip. I don't know how, how many opportunities I'm going to get to actually do night photography this time, but um, you know, we'll see. We're out a little bit last night. It was cloudy, but you know, I was taking like architecture photos uh, around town. So uh, that's kind of what I assume we'll end up doing mostly uh, just around London. And then we're going to travel a little bit around, try to hit up Dublin, Ed Edinburgh, um, and maybe some other rural places around the UK. All right, so um, I, I really like to use these little uh, drawstring pouches to organize everything. Um, I have this one in particular for sort of all of my miscellaneous photo-related gear. Uh, so I've got a headlamp. This is a USB rechargeable Petzl. Um, it's called the, the Reactic, and it has a whole bunch of customization. You can link it with your phone via Bluetooth and program it for... I, I basically added a whole bunch of like extremely dim modes so that I can use it during astrophotography. And um, it's, like I said, it's USB rechargeable, so I can plug it into basically any USB port to recharge it. Um, some cleaning tools in here. I've got a standard rocket blower. Uh, for you know, blowing dust off a sensor or a lens, and uh, it's this little microfiber cloth. <clears throat> um, this is a card with some gaffer's tape on it. Gaffer's tape super useful for uh, covering up stray lights, and you know, I don't know, just fastening things doesn't leave any residue. Um, and I have a. Uh, this is like a little miniature shotgun mic. 
Uh, this is like the Rode Video Micro, and I'll use this on, on video creation. Um, it fits onto the top of a hot shoe on the camera. Just lets me record higher quality sound. Uh, this is a little set of Allen keys for adjusting my tripod or taking on and off a tripod plate. Uh, extra cord for the video micro, and uh, that's basically it. And then uh, got just a personal beard trimmer. Um, I can use this to cut my hair. I usually have my girlfriend help me cut my hair on the go. Um, you know, it, just in case it, you don't want to take the time to find a barber shop, you can just uh, use this guy. And let's see. Oh yeah, very important. Um, so in this bag I've got my camera. Uh, this time around I'm using the Fujifilm X-T2. And uh, I just brought one lens with me this time. Uh, this is the Rokinon 35mm uh, f1.2. I'm kind of doing a project on this trip where I'm trying to focus on one focal length. So I chose 35 millimeters on an APS-C camera, uh, which is pretty standard. It's, it's sort of equivalent to like a 52 millimeter and uh, just working on a lot of kind of tighter street shots as well as doing some panorama stitching techniques. Okay, uh, sticking with all of the electronics and stuff that I'm bringing, I have another pouch here where I keep most of my computer related stuff. Um, I've got a few extra adapters here. These are the UK style ones. Um, and uh, I also brought some for the uh, European plugs, um, just because we're going to be visiting Iceland and um, Ireland, I, I think, uses the European plug as well. Maybe. I don't know. Um, so this I just have kind of like all my cords, uh, USB cell phone charger, uh, a little auxiliary, three and a half millimeter, eighth inch audio stereo jack plug. Uh, this is nice if you rent a car and you want to play your own music over the, the stereo. It usually has an aux port. Um, this is a USB power bank battery. Um, just like a, it's like a 10,000 milliamp hour battery. Um, and I can use that to charge my stuff on the go if I can't find power. Uh, so this is really nice if you're walking around a lot and exploring a new city and you're trying to use your cell phone to navigate around and just basically gives you power that so your cell phone will last all day. Uh, MacBook charger and uh, mouse. This is uh, a little Razer USB gaming mouse and uh, I bring this because I like to play some video games on the road as well. Diana and I uh, usually play a little bit of Dota together. That's basically it. A little extra USB cord in case I want to plug into that, that USB battery. <sighs> All right, so moving on to clothes. Um, this is one that I, I've been through a bunch of different uh, kind of ways of packing clothes and different uh, thoughts about what kind of clothes you should bring with you on a trip. Um, so this is a packing cube. Uh, this one's called uh, the Eagle Creek. Um, it comes in a set and it's part of their, what they call the packet system. Um, Diana uses kind of some of the other elements of this, the same set, and I just use this one packing cube from the set um, to fit basically all of my clothes in it. Um, I, you know, I am wearing, you know, a shirt right now and, and some blue jeans, and that's usually like my outfit is just a t-shirt and blue jeans. Um, but for the extra things that I usually carry with me, I'll, uh, Definitely have some extra shirts um, and some shorts. So I usually have uh, one pair of shorts. These are, what are these? Um, these are made by Prana. They're sort of like a quick dry material. Um, so I can, you know, wash it really easily. And, and that tends to be a theme for all of the clothes that I, that I uh, bring with me is they're all quick dry material, all synthetics. Um, so in case you rent an Airbnb or you're staying in a place where you can't do laundry, um, you can easily do it in the sink. So all of the underwear that I, I tend to, to bring is this ex officio 
uh, boxer briefs. These are basically uh, just like this really awesome quick dry material. There's like the most comfortable underwear ever. Um, so I, I've got three pairs of these plus the ones that I'm wearing and I'll just usually wash the, you, you can wash those in the sink or in the shower and uh, it'll dry really easily overnight. So that's one of the real perks of, of using like a synthetic like that. Um, socks, I uh, just got a few pairs of like ankle socks and uh, I've got three extra uh, t-shirts here and these t-shirts are also the same sort of quick dry material. I think they're all basically synthetic, you know, uh, with a little, they have, these ones have kind of a little bit of stretch, so they're super comfortable t-shirts. These ones are called the Cool Keep uh, shirt. I think I just got them at Kohl's. Um, there's a whole bunch of different brands that you can get that are, you know, similar, like quick dry material. They tend to be in kind of the sporting goods section. I try to find ones that don't have a bunch of logos and crap on them. Um, uh, I've got a pair of r running shorts, uh, so I can go running in the morning uh, with Diana. We usually try to try to do that in the morning if we can. And uh, that's basically it for the packing cube. Um, now this is a summer trip, so you know most of the clothes that I brought, you know, it's all t-shirts and stuff. Uh, you know, we're experiencing warm warm weather on this trip, um, but I do bring. Uh, this, this is my North Face Thermal Ball, and it all packs up into its own pocket. So you can just pull it apart and uh, basically get your full, uh, you know, warm weather jacket, or, or cool weather jacket rather, I guess. Um, so it's just kind of the classic looking, uh, you know, North Face th Thermal Ball. And in addition to that, I also bring this lightweight raincoat. Um, so if it, if it is raining, the thermal ball isn't completely waterproof. So um, this is just a rain jacket with a hood. Uh, it's kind of like a really, really thin, lightweight material. Uh, and this is from REI. It's just like an REI branded one. And uh, that one, you know, it, it packs up really, really small. Um, Flip-flops, these are super nice. Um, you know, just if you wanna, you know, roam around and feel comfortable, uh, shoes can, can be kind of, you know, annoying sometimes. Um, so, you know, I'd like to have these with me. We're also planning on eventually, um, after Iceland, we're gonna end up in Cuba. So, you know, I wanted something that was sort of more warm weather friendly. Um, normally the shoes that I, I walk around with are just some Nike free, uh, you know, kind of like trainer running tennis shoes. And uh, so the last item that I have in the bag is this pack safe. Um, this is basically, you know, just for security. If we're going out of our Airbnb, I'll uh, put this around our bags. This is, it's basically like a wire mesh safe. And, uh, you know, you can just attach it to something secure that's inside your the place that you're staying. And it kind of wraps around all your bags and makes it a little bit less uh, easy to steal. Obviously, if somebody was, you know, really equipped to, to, to steal your stuff, they're, you know, they're gonna steal it anyway. They're probably gonna have cutters or, you know, or some other tool to actually steal it. So, you know, it's, it's a little bit of a preventative measure, um, you know, kind of gives you peace of mind. Um, but ultimately, the better the better thing that, that you should get while you're traveling is some travel insurance that covers your you know all the things that you you bought. Um, so that's something that we always buy as well uh, before we depart to a new place. And travel insurance usually includes some form of, of health insurance as well. Uh, depending on the country that you're going to, it's very often that you're not going to be able to be covered by the healthcare system in that country. So, uh, you know, it's important that you get some sort of, of travel insurance and it tends to be cheap. I, I've, we've actually found that it can be cheaper to buy travel insurance while you're traveling than it, it costs for me to buy my health insurance while I'm at home. So, um, you know, it's always a good thing to buy. Um, so that's it for the main pocket. I've got just a couple more items here. Um, a few of these uh, cases, these are uh, basically just to hold uh, a USB hard drive. Um, so obviously I take a lot of photos, a lot of video, 
So I need a place to put those. Um, my MacBook only has, I think, 500 gigs of flash storage. So I need somewhere to dump that. So these are just like, uh, I have three one terabyte hard drives with me. Um, I used to carry around two terabyte ones, but I found it was actually easier to sort of manage the slightly smaller drive rather than you know having everything dumped onto one drive. This one in particular is a time machine backup. So this is just a backup of all the stuff that's on my computer. Um, and then these two are, are an archive of uh, photographs and video. So two drives here. And I think that just about covers it. Um, if you guys have any questions kind of just ab about how we travel full time, uh, feel free to leave those questions in the comments and you know, I'll try to do my best to answer them. Um, I hope this video was, was helpful and kind of gives you an idea of the thought that goes into how we travel. Um, I, I do think it, it's very important to sort of maintain this, this idea of minimalism when you travel so you have sort of less distractions uh, with all the stuff that you brought. You can really concentrate on the, on the place that you're in, um, you know, focus on your photography or focus on, on seeing the sights. All right, uh, so I guess that's the end of this video. You know, I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bye. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot one last thing is uh, I wanted to show you my tripod, um, which I was using to record this video. So uh, this is just my little Tsure T025X carbon fiber tripod. Only weighs like a pound and a half. And um, that's the tripod I've been using for like the last few years. Um, and, you know, just serve, serves the purpose. Um, so, yeah, uh, that's it. All right, I'll see you guys. Bye.